Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase 10.5, but really this will work for any Windows-based DAW that uses an ASIO audio system. I hope you all are faring well with the Panduski that's continuing to rage on. In my country, we're not doing so hot. We've been reticent to trust the advice of our public health officials. A lot of people would like to say, you know, wearing a mask is a personal choice, and I believe that's totally true. Wearing a mask is a personal choice, just like drunk driving is a personal choice. You can get all spaghetti legs at the bar and call an Uber or a taxi, but it's your choice to jump in your car and endanger yourself and everyone else in your community. And masks should be worn over your nose and your mouth. Wearing a mask like this is like wearing a condom on your balls. Not only is your partner still susceptible to sexually transmitted infections and pregnancy, but it also signals to them that you have no idea what you're doing. So when you're in the supermarket with your mask down like this, you're basically telling everyone, I wear a condom over my balls. So I don't mean to get too political, but I don't think that you should wear a condom on your balls and I don't think you should drive drunk. And today I'm gonna teach you how to sample your system audio and get it straight into Cubase. Let's go. Okie dokie, we're here in Cubase, folks, and uh, I'm going to show you all how to sample system audio and get it into Cubase. You're going to need a few programs. Let me pull these up. The first is the Reaper plugins. You can find that at reaper.fm slash Rhea plugs. Uh, we'll be using this one, and I've used this one before. It's called Rhea Stream, a very handy utility. The next one you'll need is Open Broadcaster Software. That is a screen recording program, but it just it hosts VST, so that's how you can route your desktop audio into Cubase. Okay, so you download these two programs, OBS Studio and Rhea Plugs. How do you set this up? Let's get into Cubase, and I'll show you how. First, we're going to need a group track. So we'll add a group track. We can either right click and add, or we can use this menu, uh, group track. We want it to be a stereo, and we'll enter this, we'll call this system, add track, add track. Okay, this is where the uh, RIA stream will live. So we go into our inserts on the system, we'll add our plugin RIA stream, and we want it to receive audio, we'll call this system. And it's not receiving any audio yet because A, the desktop audio is not playing. B, we need to actually have something send it and that's going to be in OBS, our screen recorder. Now you don't need to be recording. This will work even if you're not recording. So let me uh, bring OBS down into the fray. Here is OBS. Uh, now you'll have to set this up scene by scene. So I have, if I click this A6000, that's my webcam tutorial. If you want system sound to ring through to Cubase, regardless of which scene you're on, you'll have to set it up scene by scene, but you add the filter to the desktop audio tab. So I right click on desktop audio. I click filters. This dialog will come up. I'll add a filter. VST 2.x plugin. We'll call this RIA stream. Okay. We'll select the plugin from our drop down list, and that's RIA stream down here at the bottom. Ba -ba 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 -boo, ba -ba 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 -ba. There it is. We'll open the plugin interface. We'll send audio via a local broadcast. We'll remember the unique identifier, which was system. And now, if I open up this plugin here in Cubase and, and we click this always on top, we can go to a browser and play some system audio and we'll see it's going to be receiving in the system. So. All right, so how do we record that? We have to set up an audio track to record from the system. The reason why this doesn't work if you just set up the stereo track is um, just the way that Cubase uses audio, it wants you to select a bus. Now that bus, when you're selecting an audio track can be a group track, which will use the group track of system. So audio inputs, when you have an audio track selected, is going to be system. And it's going to be a stereo track, and we'll call this system sound. And we'll add the track. So this uh, group track with Rhea Stream on it is routing into system sound. Now if we record this, it'll record the system sound. So I'll hit record. I'll go to my video and play it. And what we have is a perfect sample of it. Look at all those 
Listen. Uh, awesome. That's how you record system sound. So this can work with anything. If I pull up Spotify and we play James Brown Funky Drummer, I don't want to get... I'll play some Your Dad's Butthole. That way I won't get... Uh, And I record here. And uh, the levels are just really low because my Spotify is low, but you can see it did record. And that's an important thing to keep in mind when you uh, record stuff. You kind of want your system volume to be uh, all the way up. Well, now I think you can just gain this up. But if you want it to be adequately, like the file that Spotify has, you want the, the, the volume in Spotify to be all the way up, if that makes sense. So you can record Spotify, you can record YouTube, uh, you can sample stuff that you saw in videos, and it's all just as simple as setting up RIA stream in an application like OBS to broadcast on your desktop audio, and then have it be received on a group track and then route that group track into a stereo audio track. So this has just been a quick tutorial on how to route system sound into Cubase. I hope you found it useful. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe. Don't wear a condom on your balls and don't drive drunk. I'm out of here. Peace.